Hey YouTube, um, I'm going to show you how to downgrade from 4.2.1 iPod firmware to 4.1. And this is with an iPod 2G MC model. Um, I'm going to explain this the best way I can because I've already downgraded it. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download these two things. Green Poison and the iPod 4.1 firmware. I will have both links in the description. The firmware looks like this. You're going to want to scroll down. And right here, you're going to want to go to iPod Touch 2G 4.1. You download that one. Depending on your internet, it might take a while. Um, then you're going to want to go to Green Poison. Here's Mac, Mac, Linux, and Windows. Download those. Um, and then when you're ready, and you have these just download them to your desktop and um, what you're gonna wanna do is go to iTunes and right here where it says update you're gonna want to hold shift and click on it and then a little and then a box will come up and then what you're gonna wanna scroll down to where this is right here you're gonna wanna scroll down to this and then you double click it or open it and then update to iOS 4.1 I think it is and um, that's that's pretty much it for that and um, right now I'm going to show you how to how to jailbreak it when you go down when you downgrade it so you open up green poison Prepare to put jailbreak. Prepare to jailbreak. You have to put your iPod in DFU mode. Let's do that. Get ready. Three, two, one. Hold the home home button. Hold the home and sleep button. Now let go of the sleep button. Just hold the home button. Sorry about that guys. Okay, when you're ready it'll say jailbreak. What you do is you click right here, jailbreak. <coughs> <coughs> You'll you will get a white screen that is okay. And Apple your Apple logo will come up and then it'll say connect to iTunes. and then it'll say jailbreak complete but it don't unplug it a bunch of a bunch of words will start popping up that that's normal it's okay it's just putting Cydia and jailbreaking it still so I think it's a good idea to leave it plugged in to your the cord to your iPod Oh, and um, a good thing about this, even though it's MC model, it's still untethered, which is really good. So that means you can reboot your iPod whenever you want, or if it dies, you can turn it back on normally. So that is really good. for the with with the thing with all the words it takes a little while so um, I'm gonna pause it for right now and I'll be right back okay guys um, it just finished um, with all the words um, after that an Apple logo will come up
And then there we go. It is jailbroken. When um when it's finished when you look for Cydia, it'll say loader. What you're gonna wanna do is click on loader, it'll just be a white white box app. And then right under options it'll say Cydia, access Cydia and and the Cydia store. Click on that and then click install Cydia. What it's doing it's it's kinda like downloading Cydia to your home screen. So then you can actually use Cydia. And then I'll ask, do you want to remove loader from your device? Click remove. And then you can go back to your home screen. And then what will happen, your iPod will reboot. Oh, and you can go ahead and click quit. And then slide to unlock. And then there you go. Cydia is there. And you finally have a jailbroken iPod from a downgraded 4.2.1 to 4.1. Um. Hope everyone enjoys and hope it really helped out. Goodbye.